One of the big questions rising from the release of that 11-year-old Donald Trump recording is why we're learning about this just a month away from the election. Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz, is here with some thoughts on that. Good evening, Howie. Good evening, Brett. Plenty of questions swirling around NBC, whose corporate family includes Access Hollywood as well as The Apprentice. Chief among them, what took so long? That tape of Donald Trump bragging about groping women has been in the archives for 11 years, and it just surfaces now, happens to surface now in the final month of a tight election. Now, someone with access to that NBC tape leaked it on Friday to The Washington Post, David Farenthold, who told me today he wouldn't discuss the source's motivation. But the source apparently wanted this footage made public before tonight's debate. Access Hollywood had been working on its own story in recent days. NBC senior vice president Mark Kornblau told me the news division was also pursuing the story and checking with lawyers for days under a loose agreement in which Access Hollywood would have the first crack at breaking the story. But the news division continued to go forward after the program, Access Hollywood, decided it wouldn't publish anything until tomorrow after the debate. Now, uh, after losing the scoop, Access Hollywood did air part of the debate a part of the tape, I should say, on Friday night, but cut out the parts with the most damaging comments from Billy Bush, a co-host of the Today Show who has apologized and says he's embarrassed about having played along with Trump. Now, I just got off the phone with an NBC spokesman who knocked down reports that Billy Bush will appear on the Today Show tomorrow to apologize. In fact, he's been pulled from a scheduled appearance on that show. Meanwhile, The Apprentice, the AP quoting numerous former staffers and contestants from The Apprentice as saying that Trump made lewd and inappropriate comments to women. The Trump campaign says that's totally outlandish and calls the story false. But what happened to that footage? NBC says it doesn't control the off-air footage from The Apprentice because it only licensed the show. As for Access Hollywood, it turns out the most explosive story of this campaign was sitting right under its nose and NBC's. Brett? Howie, thank you.